your girl Naya. Today we're gonna be doing like a little makeup and a talking story. So yeah, come along. We're gonna go talk and chat and do some makeup. I don't even know where to begin, honestly, but um, yeah. We're gonna um, be using the Treasure Chest Palette from Mellow Cosmetics. I did a review on this a while back. Um, if you guys remember, if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out on my channel. Um, but yeah, I really love this palette. Like, look how pretty that is. Like, yeah, this is a really gorgeous palette. I haven't really got to play around with this since I did that review, but uh, only because I've been uh, more focused on my Project Pan stuff that I've been doing, which is going really well. But I've decided to take a break from those palettes today and just play around with this one. Like, I actually really do like these palettes. So there's two of them, my God. So Treasure Chest and then the Sinopia palette. But um, I always use that Sinopia palette, so I figured I'd dive into this. But um, yeah, I don't even know what look I'm gonna create, but let's just play around with it and see what we'll do. So um, I'm gonna go in with Tiger's Eye, and I'm gonna get a big fluffy brush and just put it all over my eyes, the eyelid and stuff. It's just more like a base, honestly. Oh, story time. So, uh, yeah, got back from uh, Universal. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was amazing. And uh, if I could go again, I would. Like, it was just such a nice little break from, uh, you know, all the things that have been going on in the world, just to have a little bit of fun. And they were very, very uh, good about safety procedures and whatnot. But uh, yeah. The rides over there are amazing. Some of them, though, I was just like, no, I won't go on that. But I'll send people on that ride just so I can have a memory of it. But yeah, that, that, those are some of those rides quite, quite crazy. <laughs> My favorite one, though, out of all the rides was actually the Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike ride. That one is literally the best, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I usually like to do my eyeshadow first. Put my foundation on after. I just feel like it's more productive that way. Yeah, I like this palette because it has no fallout either. It's great. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Um, I think I'm gonna go for like a smoky look today. So we're gonna go in with smoky quartz. I'm just gonna put that in like the corner of my eye. Just put that into my crease right there. Mm. Oh, I don't like that look under my lower lash line too. I mentioned it briefly on my Instagram, um, but this time I, I, something happened and it made me realize that if I don't go for this now, I'm probably never going to go for it and I'm going to hate myself if I don't try and at least go for my, uh, my passion, my dream. So I'm going to be focusing a lot on my acting this year, and I know that things are kind of scarce right now, which is uh, why I'm, I'm going to take this time to go to acting classes. Acting, I've been acting my whole life. Like, I pretty much, since I could walk and talk, and the person who actually taught me how to, you know, who coached me was my mom. She wasn't like an actual formal coach, but she was the one who actually taught me how to, you know, you know, uh, deal with emotions and the acting and stuff and whatnot. And I don't know, I just fell in love with being on stage, with making people smile, making people feel emotions. And I just, ever since then, I was just like, I need to, I need to perform. That's my calling. So I'm gonna try and go for it. If it doesn't work out, at least I can say I tried, right? But honestly, it's gonna work out. I'm gonna make it work out. Like I've been in actually in a few productions. Um, I was in Titus Adronicus. Um, I think I played like three different people in that play, which is kind of crazy because each each uh, character has a different personality. So to play three different people was kind of challenging. And then um, I was also in She Kills Monsters. And uh, I honestly believe that role was the most difficult role I've ever played in my entire acting life because I had to have no emotion. Like, no emotion for me is like, holy crap, like, you know, acting is all about emotion. But to portray someone who has no emotion and then to portray them as a likable character with no emotion, that 
that was super challenging, but I loved it. It was great. Let's do amethyst. It's this pink color right here, such a nice color. I didn't realize how nice it was until I just decided to use it one day. You could probably use this for a highlight too if you wanted to. I'm just gonna pat that on there and just build it. I like that this palette is super buildable. But anyway, back to my acting. So yeah, that was like one of the most difficult roles I ever had to play as an actress was Calliope from She Kills Monsters. I think that's one thing I really miss about, you know, going out places is going to rehearsals and making uh, new acting friends and like performing. Which, you know, all of 21, there, 2020, there wasn't anything like that. It's just like my whole life, and I'm sure the rest of you guys feel this way too, was put on hold. And now that we're somewhat getting back to a normal, somewhat normal, <laughs> kind of normal, then uh, yeah, I hope that they start uh, opening up auditions for performances and stuff. I've been experimenting with a lot of like, different looks, especially because I like to sleep in uh, when I have to go to work. So when I sleep in, I, I tell myself I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna like, you know, do like a really nice makeup look today. It's gonna take me probably a little bit, but in reality, like I, I sleep in, I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I have to go to work. I'm gonna be late at 15 minutes to do my makeup. And literally this is, um just been experimenting with using like real quick but effective makeup stuff so I usually only use about three shades and if I'm feeling up for it I'll add some liner which is what we're gonna do today this uh, eyeliner is actually really awesome look how good that glides on I really do like this eyeliner though it's actually not a bad liner with eyelashes it's gonna look so good I might actually add a little bit of pop in there maybe just on my inner corners. So we'll use Topaz. Uh, topaz is kind of like a yellowish color, this one right here. Ooh, it actually works. I really love these brush sets too from uh, Morphe. It's the Coca-Cola one. I don't know if they still have it on their website anymore. I'm just glad I got it when it was out because yeah, that, that collection sold out really quick and I was just lucky enough to get the entire collection. Oh, moving plans. So, um, I wanted to move this year so I can try and go for my acting, but mainly with the virus is so crazy right now. And I noticed that when I went to Florida, it was really wild. And I was just lucky I did not come back with any, any sort of COVID at all. I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna stay in Hawaii for like, oh wow, that's really nice, for another year. And then I uh, just practice, practice, practice. So that way, when I do get up there and uh, I start, you know, going for the big stuff, then I am fully prepared. Mascara we're gonna be trying out today was actually uh, I've been seeing this a lot on Cece's channel. If you guys know Cece Clark, I follow, I watch her religiously. Like I watch her YouTube videos like pretty much all the time. I actually bought a lot of her stuff too. Uh, she has a, her own makeup brand now. And yeah, she's been talking about these uh, Maybelline Falsy Lash Lips and I was just like, this is really that good. So I wanted to try it for myself. This is 195 Ultra Black Mascara. It's actually a really nice packaging. They also have a waterproof version, which I found out after I bought this. You know, it's kind of similar to uh, the Too Faced uh, Mascara. Um, brush where it's like an hourglass. Oh wow, instant lash lift. I don't add too much because um, I'm gonna be putting on some lashes later. From uh, her brand actually, Hot Ombre Cosmetics. I don't know what lashes I'm gonna wear though. This is really nice. Oh, I look like I'm wearing falsies right now actually. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and uh, put some uh, under uh, inner eyeliner too on my waterline, and I added a little bit of glitter. Um, so this is from the Sailor Moon collection from ColourPop Cosmetics. This one is called Moonlight Legend, and it looks like this. It's a little glittery thing. Yeah, super, super pretty. I don't 
like to wear glitter normally, but I am on a mission to finish all my products, which brings me to my next thing. So I'm a part of a project pan, which I mentioned earlier, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to actually be using my products. Um, I am trying to go on a no buy this year, meaning I'm not buying any makeup, but Stacey, of course, dropped her eyeshadow palette, which I've been waiting for for a really long time. So I bought that and also her new gloss that came out. And that's probably the only thing I will be buying this year. I'm gonna be uh, throwing on these lashes. This is from Hot Ombre Cosmetics. Uh, the lashes are called Sassy. And yeah, I really like the look of these. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look on my eyes. So. And voila, they are on. I really like these lashes. They blend so perfectly with my natural ones. And they're really soft. They feel really high quality. I mentioned that in my uh, my review that I did. And now that we're done with the eyes, we're going to move on to face. The foundation I have been using is from Il Maquillage. Uh, this is the shade Woke Up Like This, number 40. I love, love this foundation. And uh, honestly, it's probably going to be my foundation that I'm just going to wear from now on. Like, there's never been a foundation that I've tried um, as of now that it actually works so well with my skin tone. Like, it just is so amazing. So, look at how great this is. It's like one of my favorite products I've ever gotten, honestly. I can't even tell. It's so crazy. Sometimes, like, uh, when I want to wear foundation, and let's just say, like, right now my skin is kind of breaking out, like, uh, really breaking out really bad. I'll just wear it on the top of my head, and when I take my mask off, it literally looks like I'm not even wearing foundation. It just looks like the rest of my face is breaking out, but my forehead looks fine. I definitely recommend this foundation if you guys want to try it. Um, they do have a foundation match quiz on there, and what I like about them is that you can actually uh, try the full bottle for 14 days for free. It's pretty awesome. Pretty sweet deal. And then if you don't like it, you just return it within the 14, 14 days, or you can exchange your shade if they didn't get it right, but they nailed mine perfectly, so yeah. I am definitely, definitely going to be using this foundation from now on. Like, look how nice it looks. It just blends in so well. I love, love this foundation. Like, if I wanted to, I could just wear the foundation and call it a day. But that's not fun! I love liquid concealers. Like, I'd rather have a liquid concealer than a solid stick one, but before this solid stick one, I never tried solid stick. And, uh, so I just decided to try one one day. I actually, before the whole coronavirus thing happened, I just went up to this random lady and was like, um, I noticed that you're looking at the, uh, you know, concealer sticks. Do they actually work pretty good? It's like, I'm, I'm kind of new to concealing, so I don't know what works and what doesn't. She's like, oh, I actually like the stick. You should try it. It's like, all right. So I... Yeah, this is the one I've been using. So um, it's the Brightening Creaming Concealer in Fair, um, because you know, I have really light skin tone. Um, it's from Maybelline. I really like Maybelline. I have been wearing Maybelline like since I was a teenager. Um, I love their mascaras. I like pretty much everything about Maybelline I really like. I actually really do like this, um, this stick, but uh, I, probably won't use it again because I just liquid I feel blends out really well this blends out really well too don't get me wrong it's just that like I really like the liquid forms but um yeah it's actually not bad I really do like this one so if you're um like a concealer stick kind of person I definitely recommend this one um it brightens your skin and it covers pretty well too I feel like I'm gonna use my I totally cleaned my blender today. I love how it brightens up the underneath of my eyes because lately I have had like dark circles because I haven't been getting enough sleep. Just been working on too much things. Don't burn yourself out, guys. Like, if you need a break from something, take that break. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel so much better. 
because you can't take an immediate break then do a workout do something you love draw paint something that relaxes you because i'm telling you right now if you don't do those things when you're stressing out it's gonna eat you alive and you're gonna blow up like i do i will admit when i am stressed out i have this habit of just locking myself away and shutting myself down basically and uh, i'm trying not to do that this year because i want to better myself so i started doing things that i really like like today for example i'm actually wasn't having a very good week so this is why i'm filming this tutorial and uh, why I'm doing all these uh, story times because nothing makes me feel better than talking to you guys and showing you guys my makeup. I'm gonna put on some blush, some bronzer, and some highlight. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet, but uh, I have an idea. My battery's about to die, so I'm gonna go change that real quick and we'll continue with our little chat. Okay, I just wanted you guys to see like a more up-close look of this look because I'm actually really loving this look and the lashes just, they made this look. I actually finished um, my first blush a few months ago. Um, it was the Tarte Cosmetics Blush in Party. I don't know if I say that right every time I say it, but it's like P-A-A-A-R-T-Y, so it's like potty. Like, let's go potty. Oh, that sounds weird. Yeah, no, don't say it like that. My next goal after I finish my uh, first uh, blush was to finish my first bronzer and I'm thinking I'm getting pretty close honestly. This is from Wet n Wild, um, Sunset Strip Tees. It's like literally my favorite bronzer ever. I love this bronzer so much and I hope I can finish it this year at some point, maybe in the next few months. I'm trying to bronze my face a little bit more now that I have blonde hair. Put it on my cheek right there. And it looks so nice. Like look at that. It's so, I just love this bronzer so much. Like I always have this fear that I might get a bronzer that's like too orange or too dark for my skin tone, but this one works out just fine. Yeah, I really like this bronzer. It's such a lovely color, lovely shade. The goal is to finish that by sometime this year. Um, yeah, I have so much makeup guys. It's not even funny. That's why I've been focusing more on uh, just using my products than actually buying products. I have so much things I want to try, but it's just like I have that. Uh, anytime I look at my makeup closet, I get anxiety. So that's how you know it's too much is when you look at your makeup closet and you realize you have too much makeup. And you're just like, God damn, what do I wear? I joined that project pen to like limit myself to my makeup and just be like just these ones um it's going pretty good so far though YouTube, like, you know how to play. i'm listening to shaggy right now maybe no way but she held me on the counter i'm banging on the sofa even at her in the shower okay we're gonna go in with the milani um powder blush this is uh in the shade romantic rose my goal is to wear out this flower. I'm getting close to it, but this is the one I'm trying to finish next. And I know it's probably gonna take me a while, but that's okay. I believe in myself. I know I'm not gonna buy any more blushes this year, hopefully not. It's really, really uh, difficult for my makeup side of things. But on the financial side and on the anxiety side, that's enough to make me think like, no, you don't need that blush. You, you got so much blushes already now, just, just use those. And I'm like, all right. And once I run out of it, then I'll start buying again. I just love how these two pair so well together though. It's so nice. Like, like look how nice that is. It, like these two, combined are like literally the best combination in my opinion like i think that's why i haven't really tried out any new bronzers and blushes lately it's just because like this these two work so well together ah, it makes me so happy um oh that's what i was talking about moving i completely forgot about that but yeah moving i don't think i'm gonna be moving this year if i do then i'll let you guys know but if if i and end up staying in Hawaii for another year, then I guess that's cool too. A lot of people are like, why would you want to move away from Hawaii? 
Hawaii is so beautiful. It's like a paradise. You're so lucky that you live there. Bitch, no, I'm not. I'm not lucky. I lived here my whole life. Hawaii is super expensive. You guys have no idea how expensive it is out here. Like, like, people don't understand how hard it is to live in Hawaii. Like, I only can afford this place that I have now because I have roommates. But if I were to survive on my own and get my own place with the income I have right now, I would be homeless. Yeah, that's the sad truth. So if you guys are going to plan to move to Hawaii and live here, you guys better be prepared. Do your research. Research, research, research. The only reason why I'm okay living here right now is because I grew up here. Like, this is my home. I was born and raised here, so I know pretty much everybody. Like, that's how small Hawaii is. You know everybody. Like, or you run into somebody, you can go to the other side of the island and you'll still run into somebody you know. That's just how it is. It's just that I, I'm ready to like spread my wings and fly off this island and explore the world and see the world. Let's do some highlighter. I'm actually gonna use this one, this highlighter right here. It's the Super Shock Cheek, and then it's in Part of Your World, which this was from the Disney Designer Collection that came out, um, I don't know how long ago. It's been a while, but um, I really, really love this highlighter. So I usually use my finger for that because uh, it's such a nice, blendable shade, honestly. I love how smooth the formula is, too. I'm glad I got this collection before it completely sold out. I've been doing this lately where I'll put that on first and then uh, layer it with uh, the Precious Petals highlighter from Wet n Wild. This highlighting brush, um, it's a tapered highlighter brush from Sigma. Like, literally love this brush. As I was saying about the moving thing, I was super excited to be moving this year, but I think that might not happen. And that's all right. It just gives me more time to save and more time to build um, like a good cushion so that when I do move, then I think, you know, I'll be all right. So I'm trying to look at things on the brighter side of things. Like I know I'm, I might be disappointed about not moving this year, but I'm trying to look at it in a better way. It's like, okay, well, you're not moving this year. That's okay. This is all the stuff that's going to happen because you're not moving this year. You're going to save more money. You're going to have a better cushion. Like, I've, I've been lately trying to see more bright side of things, which normally I'm really good at, but 2020 messed me up. <laughs> I think it messed all of us up. And like, so I'm trying to regain that, you know, positive side of things aspect in my life so that I'm not depressed all the time because sometimes I my depression gets me really bad so I've been doing a lot of like I went back to the gym oh my god I almost forgot to tell you I started going back to the gym and uh, I was really nervous about it at first but they are also doing really well with the safety stuff too so I went back to the gym and uh I feel so much better and like I'm starting to notice that my abs are coming back. Yay! I'm so happy about that. Okay, now that I got this stuff all good and I got my highlight on and whatnot, I'm gonna do my brows real quick. I almost forgot to do my brows. I've been using the uh, Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz pencil in soft browns. I don't need to shape my eyebrows or anything. I just fill them in with this. It's a coloring project for me, honestly. My, my mom gave me great brows. I put some clear brow gel in just to hold it in place. Once I run out of that pencil, I think I'm just gonna use uh, this. And just wear that just to pull it in. But yeah, I really, really like that pencil. It makes my brows look on some lipstick and oh we're gonna use the hot ombre cosmetics one i feel like a nude would be the best the two i really wanted to try this one is the naked sunset and this one is beach please i might go with the naked sunset here so let's go in with naked sunset here we go with uh, sunset now <gasps> yes <laughs> oh i'm loving this color so much it's so nice <laughs> i'm sorry 
I'm sorry. I got super excited in my last video about this and like I was just like <laughs> I just, I just love CC and her products and just everything, just everything, like it's great, like <sighs> eyelashes, lips, like now an eyeshadow palette and a transformer gloss, which I will be doing a review on um, once it comes in, I'm waiting for it, but I'm so excited. But this is pretty much the makeup look guys, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna wear my headband today. This is the final look guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you on the next chit chat. Okay, bye! Mwah.